In this tutorial, we are going to be talking. Now we'll continue from where we stop, right? And uh, this tutorial, we install Django, we start up, we create a project, we start up the server, and then you see how everything goes, right? I'm also going to show you the Django documentation, and then we'll, yeah, we'll go through it together, right? So um, from the previous videos, we installed virtual environment, and we also created a repository on GitHub, and then we made our first commit and pushed to GitHub. Right. So the file I created, which is Tezos.py, I already deleted that. That is why you can see it out. We have a change. We need to commit. So to install Django, we run the command pip install Django. So, but you have to be mindful that you are in your virtual environment. So, you install Django in your virtual environment. If you are, if your virtual environment is not activated, and you are try to maybe start up Django server later on, you are going to encounter some errors because Django is not installed on your uh, computer globally. It is only installed in this virtual environment. Now we have successfully installed Django. Okay, so before I move on, let's just, let me just show you the Django documentation, which is here. Uh, so when you Google, right, let's go back to google.com and we just search Django documentation. Yeah, so that is the Django documentation. It's uh, very self-explanatory and something you can easily relate with and find your way around it. Right, so um, I personally will be using this documentation as we go along, I'll be making some references to this. So get started with Django. Or uh, install Django. Write your first Django app, right? Okay, so yeah. So from here, we'll come back to this. Uh, let's see, we have already installed Django. This is an installation guide. To install Django, you have to run this command, which I already did, and I have installed my Django. So Django is installed. Now, uh, let's follow on this tutorial, right, on Django. Now, uh, so we are uh, following this tutorial. And so learn, let's learn by example. Throughout this tutorial, we'll walk through basic creation of a whole application, right? So. Uh, let's just keep these days and go straight to creating a Django application, right? Now to create a Django application, you have to run this command. On Django uh, documentation, you could see Linux and Mac have the same command to run and on Windows also, you have to run this command. So we run Django admin start project my site because we already started, we already installed Django. So to create a new, project we run Django admin start project and we are naming it my site according to what we have in the documentation and you would notice I have a new file created here with some other files some other Python files here so uh, I'm going to be explaining what each of these files does right so okay so when we run the code as you can see here we have almost the same thing in our vs code this directory that is what we have here right okay you can rename the outer file to anything right so uh in here it explains what each of those files does the manager's py is the command utility that is it's uh the settings where it allows you to interact with your django app Right, this allows you to interact with your Django app, whatever command you want to run, it all goes through the manager's PR file. 
Okay, so we have the uh, my site does in its in its file. This is telling us that this directory this directory is a Python package. We have the ASGI to run asynchronous server to run application on asynchronous servers. We also have the settings.py file. This contains all our application settings. You can read more about that on, on Django documentation. In the urls.py file is URL declaration for a Django project. And uh, as I said, ESGI to run asynchronous to serve your uh, project on asynchronous server. And WSGI is web service, web server gateway interface, right? So uh, basically, that is it. And uh, we have our projects. So yeah, basically, that is how to start your Django project. Now, to start up your server, you run this command Python manage.py rom server, right? Okay, so why we have that directory is because we have not changed directory into my site. So change directory into my site and then we run Python manage.py rom server. And you see we have successfully, have been able to successfully start up our server, right? Just as we have here. When you click when you run this command you have this and you've been able to start up your server so when you visit this uh, url in your browser when you visit that url in your browser you would see the welcome uh, page which tells you that you have been able to start up your django app successfully 